So, um, uh, yeah, I am Masoud Parvani. I'm associate professor and associate chair of the department. Uh, so I do research on a smart infrastructure, specifically looking at uh, power and energy systems uh, as also they uh, connect to the rest of the infrastructure, including electrified transportation, water infrastructure, and gas infrastructure, as well as communication systems. So uh, uh, yeah, I have a fairly uh, large lab. Uh, we have uh, 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 aside from me, we have Dr. Jairo Giraldo and Dr. Mohammed El Hariri, who are research assistant professor in the lab, and we have uh, uh, research uh, senior research associate uh, Dr. Gilan Far and Dr. Bolson Lee. Uh, plus, we have like a multiple PhD student in the lab, but that doesn't mean that we are full. We are always looking for more students to join our lab. Uh, in terms of research project. Uh, uh, we do research, uh, as I said, on the smart infrastructure. Specifically, we are looking at the uh, flexibility of power and energy systems, as well as the cyber physical resilience of these systems. Uh, we look at uh, how we could integrate energy storage devices in the system. You, you hear all the news that energy, store, energy storage is the next boom in the energy industry. You hear all over the board that this is like 100 megawatt battery in Australia by Tesla or like uh, somewhere around the board. That's what we are doing. We are uh, uh, developing models, uh, scheduling and pricing models in order to integrate uh, uh, in a cost efficient way the uh, in energy storage in the systems. We are also one of the pioneers, the research group looking at the uh, uh, intersection and interconnection between the uh, power and water uh, systems. And uh, uh, there are a lot of like interconnection between power and water system from generation side to the demand side. In addition, that we are also working on the transportation electrification. So here, I would like to show a few, uh, a few uh, 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 of the like uh, tools that we have developed. Uh, so this tool, uh, 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 I don't know. Do you see that, or this is like going to another tab? Okay. So uh, uh, yeah. So if we have. So for example, we have developed this tool that tries to co-optimize the, uh, the airborne power and water distribution system, and this is a tool we have developed to visualize that co-optimization uh, to show how, like for example, a change in the power consumption uh, or a like, interruption in power consumption can result in interruption in the water consumption and so on. Uh, we have, uh, uh, in addition to that, we have developed tools for. Uh, 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 if this goes back here, yeah, like uh, for the electric for transportation, how like uh, uh, how electric vehicles specifically, how electrification of the uh, 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 transportation uh, sector could impact the power sector because now like uh, kind of power system is becoming a like gas station for the uh, for the transportation sector. That's what we do. We have developed again other tools that, for example, one of the most recent tools we have developed looks at how. Uh, uh, a transit system, public transit system, bus transit system, even electrified could impact the power distribution system. For example, you see that like buses could charge along the way rather than like uh, being uh, being one of the most pollutant uh, uh, bodies in the city. Uh, they could uh, they could uh, uh, charge along the way, and but also they would also affect the uh, power uh, system infrastructure. So that's uh, uh, what we are doing. We are trying to develop models that would manage that interaction between the transportation and power system. And as a, so in addition to the research, uh, uh, we also do a lot of events. Uh, so for example, we have recently started Utah Resilience uh, 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 webinar series that we, uh, we bring together uh, like industry leaders in order to make sure that we are interacting the research between the industry and the academia. Uh, we also make sure that we are connecting the uh, the, the students with the industry and so forth that we have developed this Utah Power and Energy Career Expo that we bring industry together with the students in the same room. They sit together, they talk and, uh, but uh, the sit together was for the part that we didn't have coronavirus. So maybe next time we sit together it would be in fall, but, uh, but actually we are going to do that next time as a virtual event. So which kind of also provide opportunities for more students to attend. So um, yeah, again, excited to, um, uh, uh, to see many of you here. And please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I would be happy to uh, uh, talk to you and see if you are a good fit for my lab. And uh, as I said, we are always looking for uh, uh, a smartest and brightest student to join us. Thank you.